Yeah, here we are. Win and Dynamic Arrays and X Lookup are here. Hey! Yeah, time. yeah, I'm yeah, dude! Time. I didn't hear that popper. Wait, <laughs> Wait another one. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it for real. X Lookup. X Lookup. Dynamic X. Arrays. That's right. Dynamic Arrays. Finally, oh, finally. finally. It was pretty exciting clicking that update now button. Yeah. See it yeah. Come down. It's a big update as well. It took 20 minutes to download. Oh, it did? Yeah. Wow. It got all the new stuff in with dynamic arrays and, and next look up and all the other office products as well. You know, oh, look. so much new. Oh, stuff. okay. The let function. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not, not on, yet. Not on the, um, okay. Not, not on this the slow one. channel. All right. I'm, that, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, no, it's going to be good. It was so pleased, you know. It's taken a year, well, no, August, yeah, last year. So a year. That's when we had the X Lookup Summit. Yeah. Mentioned yes. Joe McDade announced it and yep. it was, uh, the MVP Summit and things. And yeah. Yeah. So it's good. It's here. So we're going to do some demos. Yes, we're going to do some demos. And but and I've got a demo. You got a demo. All oh, God's chilling got demos. So some good stuff to demo. I'm going to show a uh, filter in my quick video. Okay. Um, and yeah. Some nice little X lookup tricks. So uh, hopefully right. people get something out of it. Yeah. Hopefully. But so happy days. Let's go on to the demo. So I want to do a quick demonstration of how X lookup and dynamic arrays sort of work together. Um, so a simple X lookup. Uh, let me just put one in here. So I just want to look up, say, the membership number. Um, in this list of members, I want to find their name. So comma, and you just highlight the column you want. You know, it's so simple, press enter. Member number one is Tess. But with sort of dynamic arrays and XLOOKUP, you can also bring back a number of items. So rather than, so I'm still doing the lookup, but I want to bring back not just one column, but two columns of results. And I press enter. And I've now got the name and if they're a platinum member or not. So you can do that. Um, one thing I found is that you can't now double click for it to fill down. You do actually have to physically drag it down. But that's one way of doing it. You know, the new dynamic arrays and XLOOKUP work beautifully together. And there's actually even a sort of a different way of doing this as well that can really speed up your file and also make your file smaller afterwards is if you write your XLOOKUP this way. XLOOKUP. And then you just highlight exactly what you want to look up. So every single item you want to look up, comma. Then it's the same. You just highlight where you're looking, okay, comma, and what you want to bring back. Now with this method, you can only bring back one column. You can't bring back multiple currently. But I press enter, and there you go. And there's only one formula here, and it's just spilling all the way down. And if somebody types over half the way, it says spill, you get rid of it, it comes back. And you can, you know, take this formula, put it in here, and then just change table name. So rather than looking for the name column, I want to look for the platinum. So I start typing PL, there you go, platinum, press enter, and there's my platinum results. So a different way of writing formulas. This way, if you've got a big list, a really big list, this will actually work faster by referencing the entire column. Um, okay, so let's take this, flip this around, show something else that XLOOKUP can do. I want to find the last visit. So this list is, is actually sorted in, in order here. But I want to find the last visit. <clears throat> so equals XLOOKUP. I want to look up this result. And I want to look in this column. And press F4 to lock that in. Okay, and I want to bring back the date they visited. Now by default, it will um, look from the top down. So it'll bring back the first time they visited in this sorted list. Um, if they've never been, I want the word never to appear. That's great. That, re that replaces the need for if errors. So that's awesome. And comma, comma, search last to first. That's what I want. Okay. So I want to go from the bottom of the list and search up, press enter, and there we go. We've got a list of when they last visited. Um, I can do something simple then like equals today, 
minus that date. So that's how many days ago it was. I should probably wrap this in a if. Okay, so equals if that equals never, then let's just put a blank otherwise today. Let's put a little bracket on the end. Okay, so we've now got this list of how long ago people visited, and you can be a bit fancy and add on a bit of maybe conditional formatting with a data bar, you know, something like that. There we go. And we can see there's a few people who are over 30 days and Sam who's never been. So who do we need to contact to say, hey, how's it going? We haven't seen you for a while. So equals filter, new dynamic array function, okay? Pick what you wanna return. Let me pick um, this and this column. So I wanna bring back two columns, comma, and I wanna include where the days ago is greater than this cell of 30. Close the bracket, press enter, and there we have it. Testing, she's a platinum member, hasn't been for 30 days. Jack, Faye, Sam, and Alpha. Okay, there we go. X lookup and an amica raised together. Pretty good. My demo might make you want to take your clothes off, but don't do it unless you're at home and you won't offend anybody. All right, I'm going to show you this because we are celebrating X lookup and the dynamic arrays. Here we go. Here's a list of vehicles and what color they are. This first one is a blue bus and we also have a white van. All right, watch equals unique. Double click there. What's the array? The exterior, enter. Every unique color. And then I'm gonna sort that. Sort, open parentheses. Go to the end, close parentheses, enter. Everything is in order. Now, let's get the type of vehicle equals unique. Double click it. What is the array? It is right here. I'm gonna close the parentheses and watch what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning and then sort open parentheses and then close parentheses and one more back to the beginning transpose it opened the parentheses we go to the end close the parentheses enter look at that the three types of vehicles in order now let's fill in the rest of this grid equals count ifs open parentheses what is the criteria range? The exterior, comma. What is the criteria? Go here. Now look at that. G5 pound sign means that the formula is looking at anything in that array, comma. Now we gotta do the same horizontally. Criteria range. We're looking at the type, comma, the criteria over here. Close parentheses. Don't get excited. I'm about to hit the enter button. All right. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. We have two orange limos. Now watch what I am about to do. I've got some more vehicles. Bring this closer. I'm going to drag this in. Mm, look at that. Yellow is a new color. And we have a party trolley and four party boats. Can you believe that? If I want to set up something here where I want to see if I have a purple van equals X look up. Double click. Look up what? Look up where this stuff is all in the way. Move that, move this, go there. All right. Comma. Look up array is here. Comma. Return array. X look up again. Look up value. Van. Comma. 
look up array right here, comma, return array, comma, if not found, all, come on, close the double quotes, close the parentheses, enter, accept this, yes, there we go, we don't have a purple van, but let's see, purple limo, sure, two of them. You got to get on this X lookup and these dynamic arrays. And when you start messing with this, keep your clothes on. Those were the demos. All right. When, how do people find out if they have X lookup and dynamic arrays? Well, easiest way, just type equals yeah. XL and you'll see X lookup pop mm. up. If it doesn't, then you should go to File, Account, and then on the screen there is Update Options, Update Now. Yeah. Um, if your mean IT department hasn't enabled it yet, then, you know, just knock on their door. Knock on the door. <laughs> sure they turn it on. Yeah. Um, Bring them some pie. You might want to, they like pie over there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just something, you know, just, just a little sweetener for them. Yeah. Um, if you haven't got Office 365, you will not have it ever. Ever. So time to upgrade. Yes. Come home. Come to where you belong. Life is so much better with these new features as you saw in the demos. Totally. All right. All right. You agree. Say it loud. Say it proud. Totally agree. Come on. Sign up. Yeah. Click that button. Upgrade. Yeah. Get onto the X lookup dynamic array versions of Excel. That's right. We'll see you there.